Hey everyone, Fusion Instructor Simon Lee here. In this video we're going to be looking at servicing tools inside of Fusion and seeing how we can use them to create this bottle design. So let's get started. For this design I'll be using a reference image of a hand sketch. So go up to insert and choose canvas. We'll select our file and select the plane we want to place our canvas on. I'm just going to increase the size of my uh, canvas a little bit and make sure it's in the right orientation. And press OK. Let's take a look side on this canvas. I've brought my hand sketch in with a reference dimension. So we can go up to our canvas and let's calibrate. Let's make sure we're looking front on and select two points. So here in our reference dimension, select these two points and input what that dimension should be. In this case, 230 millimeters. Hit enter. And now our hand sketch is calibrated to that size in Fusion. It's also a really useful tool if you want to bring in photos of objects of known dimensions. I'm also going to go back in and edit the position of our canvas. I'll turn the origin on. I'll go up here and select edit. And I'm just going to move the canvas so the bottom of the canvas or the bottom of our bottle is sitting just at the origin there, which is going to make our modeling uh, workflow a little bit a little bit easier. So make sure I've got that as close to the bottom as I can get it. Perfect. Right, so the next step in our workflow is to use the form tools. So I'll go up to create form. These create where you want to take geometry and push upon and fit it to your requirements. So I'll go to create and select cylinder. There. And we'll choose our bottom plane and just draw out a circle that's approximately the size of our bottle. If we take a look front on, and now you see the advantage of placing our sketch at that origin point to use the X plane as our base for our cylinder. We can drag that cylinder up to approximately the height of our bottle and just change out the width so it's roughly the same as our hand sketch. We'll choose the faces to six, that'll make some of our model a little bit easier, and select OK. Next we're going to tell Fusion that our cylinder is symmetrical, so whatever we do to one side of our cylinder we'll do to the other side. So if you select mirror and internal, and select with two different sides, select OK and you'll see that green line to say there's a mirror plane down the centre of that cylinder. You can also do that when you draw the cylinder, as I just prefer to do it this way. Now we're going to edit our cylinder and we're going to select those top edges and just drag them roughly to match our original hand sketch. And this edit form tool is a great multi-purpose tool that allows you to do it with faces and vertices and edges. So that looks about right. I'm also going to do the same at the bottom, so double click on these lines to select all of them and just drag those approximately into the right location. Then we're just going to grab some of these points and also drag those to overlay them on our hand sketch. Yep, I think that one needs change in there. Perfect. Just turn our canvas off. Back on again. Yep, we'll move this point across as well. Perfect. Yep, I think that's good. So clear, click OK. You see, just using some simple manipulations, I've taken our original cylinder, been able to fit it to our hand sketch. Turn our hand sketch off. Yeah, perfect. Right, hit finish form. I'm going to turn our hand sketch back on. I'm going to go and use some of the surfacing tools in Fusion. Make sure we're on the front view. So whereas the form tools give you that really fine manual control, now we're going to move to surface tools, which is where you describe surfaces using more traditional geometry like sketches and curves. And we'll go up and we'll select our surface tools. And we'll create a new sketch. And we'll use that plane there. Right, I'm going to start adding in some of the features of this bottle. So I'm going to select spline. And let's start doing this join between the bottle and the lid. Just choose two control points, then use these handles to match the spline to this curve. We don't have too many control points, two is perfect for this kind of feature. Then we'll choose offset, and we'll offset this line down, and we'll choose about four millimeters, so minus four millimeters in this case. Right now onto this hand grip area. Let's go to spline again. We'll choose about three points for this, should be enough. So one top, middle and bottom. And again we'll use these handles to fit our curve to this feature. 
Yep, we'll move that one around a little bit. Just adapt that one to the curvature. I think that one's fine there. And then we'll use another one to do this feature below. So again, three points, top, middle and bottom. Then again, use the handles to fit this curve to our feature. So yeah, we'll move that, that one around a little bit. Change the angle. That's good. Just need to adjust down the bottom here. Fit that to curvature. Excellent. And we'll choose the finish sketch. Okay, now we've got the lines we need. We'll turn our hand sketch off. What we're going to do actually is split this surface body. So we're going to select modify, split body. That's our body, and we're going to use that middle plane to split our body into. Yep, and then we'll just hide the back half of that. That'll just make some of our uh, workflow a little bit easier. Great. So we're going to use these sketch lines now to start splitting up our body into some of the relevant sections. So we we'll choose split body again. For our splitting tool, we'll choose that top spline and select OK. We need to turn our sketch back on there. I'm going to do the same again, so modify split body. This time using this body and this spline here. Great. I'm going to choose OK. Here, we should take a look and make sure we're in the right place. Perfect. And now we're going to do extruding surfaces. So we take that line there and that line there, and we're going to use to use those to extrude out. This is called overbuilding. We'll choose OK, and we're going to use these new surfaces as a way to split up and trim our body. So we'll take the top one first, choose Modify and Trim, select our new surface, then we'll choose that surface to remove, to trim away, you'll see we remove that surface there. We can do the same for the lower part of the bottle, just to get an angle where you can see it working. So again, Modify and Trim, select our new surface there, that's our trimming tool, and select that area of our existing surface to remove. Then we'll hide these two new trimming surfaces. Let's take a look at the front, and we've got all the splits we need to complete our bottle. Next up, we've got this hand grip area, which you saw in the original hand sketch. What we want to do is offset that in from the original perimeter. So choose the offset tool, select that surface. I'm just going to choose to offset it uh, probably about minus five and you'll see there's a new surface been created behind that existing one. So let's go and hide the original one, which is body four up there. And you see now we've got this new offset surface, in the same way we had it in our original hand sketch. Awesome. Now we want to extend this surface, just to take it up to the behind the rest of the other surfaces. So we'll choose to extend it and select natural. We'll pull it to about there. Doing that extension just means that when we come to join these two surfaces together, we can overbuild to create a watertight structure. Now we're going to add in the missing bits of geometry on the bottle. So we're going to create a new sketch. The first thing we're going to do is choose to create, go down to project and include. We're going to choose intersect. And where the bottle, uh, where the bottle surfaces intersect the sketch, we just could choose these three points, which will help us draw some additional sketch elements. So first up, we're going to go to these two points and choose a three-point arc. Select there, select there, and do our arc. We don't have it too big, just a nice gentle curve. That looks about right. Then we need to do another line. So we choose line from our point there, and we'll take it down about that angle, that length. That should do the job. Yep, perfect. Escape and finish sketch. Now we're going to use these sketch features to sweep some more surfaces round to fill in these features. So let's go up to the top here and choose Sweep. We use the two lines we just drew to create the final surfaces to finish off our bottle. Let's take that one and choose Single Path. So we select our profile and let's select the path, which is that one. And you'll see we swept that feature all the way around to fill in that gap between our offset surface and our original surface. 
which looks great, exactly like our original hand sketch. You need to do approximately the same at the top here. So again, choose our profile, we'll choose sweep, choose our profile. In this case, we're going to do path and guide rail. So we can choose the top as a path and choose the bottom as a guide rail. And you'll see we swept a new surface round in that feature. That looks great. Looks like we're almost there. If we rotate our bottle round there, you'll see there's still some work to do where we've done some overbuilding with surfaces at the back here. So let's choose use our trim tool again. Let's go up to modify and trim. First up we're going to select that surface there and we choose that area to remove, so that overbuilt area inside. Let's clean that up. And just one more operation to do with the trim tool. So modify and trim again. This time we're going to select our offset face and choose that area inside that's been overbuilt to remove again. That's cleaned that up perfectly. Awesome. Right, we're almost there. So, let's take a look at that view. We've got all our surfaces here. What we're going to do is mirror those to bring back the rest of our bottle. So select all of those surfaces just by dragging the box around them. So that's our mirror plane, which is our middle plane there. And choose OK. We've got our full perimeter of our bottle. Now we just need to fill in the top and bottom of our bottle. So we'll create and patch and select that loop around the top, which has created a new surface at the top. We'll do the same at the bottom. So create and patch again. Slap that loop at the bottom and join that all together. So we've now got a world watertight surface. So it's not a solid body yet, it's all surfaces. All that remains is for us to select to stitch, which will stitch together all our surfaces and create a solid body. So we'll drag a box over, and those green lines are where we want to stitch together. And now you'll see a new body's appeared here on the left hand side. So we've got a new solid body. So let's get back into the solid tools. Let's get the right angle here, and we'll choose uh, Inspect and Section Analysis just to show that it is solid. So select Section Analysis, just flip the direction so you can see. You'll see it's a complete solid body now. So there we go, a nice workflow there to take our original concept design and turn it into a finished solid body which we can go and 3D print for instance. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.